You know, we are here in this house today to thank the Lord for many different things. Some of us, we are here because we just want our faith to be lifted. We want to grow spiritually. I want to reach there where God says I am supposed to reach. Some we are here because we are broken hearted. Some we are sick. We don't even know what to do anymore. We moved from place to place, from house to house. And now we are tired. But there is a word that I want to tell you today as we are starting this service. It's somewhere in the Bible, in the book of Psalms. I believe it's 103, verse 1 or so, whatever. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Hmm? Let me open it so that I can speak what at Yango Zuiva, I'm not good upstairs. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless, I will say your holy name. And it says again, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And it again says, the Lord, the same God that we are blessing, he forgives all. All means all. Your iniquities. Divichar na kamuka. Liche la chedi ngweche batu asadi tsebi ngwari liba lel. Hobanu ya rirata. And he says, who heals all your diseases? I want to end there. Ya rifodi shang malwechi arena. Yari diang kabutu. Yari diang serling son alikon. Mkabe sikamaha wamudimu. If it was not because of the grace of the Lord. Me and you, where were we supposed to be today? Because of our own knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Ridulara nahana, we think we know everything. I want to tell you today, we know nothing. It is because of the grace. Sometimes when God has allowed you to be up there, my God, you feel like you have got it all, you have done it all, you have it all. But I have a good message for you today. There is still somewhere. Somewhere that you have to go. There is still another step for you to climb to go to the top. Here in Bible. Mutaola that day when Jesus died at Calvary. The sin of the whole world covered. The whole earth. That's why Kirichakalilina. The sin of the whole world. And Jesus cried out, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? But I know you didn't forsake me. My will must not be done, but your will must be done. There are things that we don't know and we don't understand. It is not because of your will. It is the will of the Father. Today I was sitting and I was thinking, Chirizi, you had dreams. There was one, two, three, four, five. You wanted to do all these things in life. But my God, 
the will of the Father got me. And look at what you are doing. And I said to myself, Father, I didn't call myself. You called me. I am not doing my will. I am doing your will. So please, Father, this road that I'm walking, make sure that I pass. And if I fail, God, remember, they won't laugh at me, they will laugh at you. Because you are the one who started me. I was having my own things I wanted to do. So I want to tell you today, you are not in the wrong place. You came to the right place. Where the will of the Father is done day in and day out. We are not here because we want. We are here because he wants. Hmm? God has loved us to be here today. So can you do the best that you can do today? When you are clapping, clap like a crazy person. When you are shouting, shout so that the next person can know that you are shouting. When you want to jump on your feet, jump and praise the Lord. When you want to do something for the Lord, do it like never before. Because God has loved you. God has chosen you. He has saved you. He made you what you are. He sanctified you. He made you his own. That is why you are different. <laughs>